Okay, this is quite bizarre. Okay, first I'll just start with this here, little face, eye, eye, nose, mouth. Over here is an eye, eye, mouth. It's looking that way. There's more. They're really harder to see, so I don't point them out. I point out the easiest ones to see, but here's what I want to show you. This long, skinny arm with what almost looks just like a hand dangling from it when it was over here, when it was back just beside this big face here, which is definitely a face. Look, it's even got fox ears. This is a spirit of a fox. It's got to be. I mean, it's got to be. There's nothing else it could be. It straight up looks like a fox. Ear, it's like fluffy ear here, not fluffy, but pointed. Ear there, nose. Almost cartoon-like, but most of them do look cartoon-like. <clears throat> and it's just them pulling together the particles, because it's about all they can manipulate in the physical realm. But they're pulling together them particles and making themselves an image, a, a, a body of some sort to be in this physical realm, and it's the only way they can do anything right now. But they are definitely, most certainly, real. And if you don't believe me, go look at the declassified CIA uh, documents that talk about, it literally has a list of non-human intelligent entities. And in those lists are clouds, smokes, you know, dust storms, um, ice storms, stuff like that. Anything with particles in it that can hold electricity. Think about that particles that hold electricity, that electricity has a little bit of information embedded in it and a consciousness, just like our brains use small amounts of electricity with information embedded in it. The information that's being interpreted by our brain is literally digital information. Don't tell me we can't get caught in a matrix and stuck in there. Don't tell me we can't be transferred, transferred from one body to another, because we can. And I won't do it, and you shouldn't. That's how the Nephilim are tricking us with gray alien bodies that are cloned. Real shit. Don't care if you believe it. Seek truth. Ask and ye shall receive. Knock and the door will open. If you, know, if you know not your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you need to know him now. You have less than six years before the coming of the Lord. And it is not going to be pretty between now and then. We got Trump back. That doesn't mean things are going to get better. It means retribution is coming to those who deny the Lord. When a country turns its back on the Lord, the Lord removes his hand of protection and allows the enemy to have their way until we cry out to him and seek his love and his help. Acknowledge him and give him glory. Love him with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. But do it now while you have a chance. Because I promise you, when you start seeing these things in flesh, not in clouds, and you know, there's another one that showed up since then. Look, eye, 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 nose. It's got a kind of long nose and a mouth. That is looking this direction. Going from there to there, you know. It's looking to the right. And uh, I can prove that's what all of this is because I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, let me do that again. I'm going to take a screenshot. <laughs> you're not stopping. There it goes. And I'm going to go to that. And you're going to watch me do this. Real quick like I'm in a hurry. Um, why is it not giving me the other... Uh, Crap. Uh, that ain't really out. Oh, yeah, sure. Dissolve. Alright. Photos. I gotta use the photos for the photo editor. Duh! Got to use. Screenshots. Edit. I said edit. <laughs> Alright. First thing we wanna do zoom in, obviously. Now I'm going to try, I'm highlighting a certain one, but it's going to make them all vis more visible. 
So I need, I need that thing to move. It's a little better. Go all the way straight to pop. Turn it all the way up. Boom. That's one thing. Immediately you see it. See, see? The mouth even even has fangs now, and the tongue sticking out. It just like the devil likes to do. Next, sharpen it just a little bit. What did I just do? Uh, I did not hit that one. See, it's gonna try to stop me. I'll be lucky if I be able to get this to upload. All right. Next, you want the contrast. Go either direction, but go to the max, if which whichever one highlights it best. Then you want to do your darkness. I, I to go brighter will make it less easy to see. Go darker will highlight it a little stronger. Looks almost like a gremlin. I'm sure, you know the movie. White point. So a little bit will help. Highlights down. Shadows. Here's where the, here's where it gets. Intriguing. Okay. I didn't do much. Black point. Why is it not working? Dude. Okay. It's darkening a little bit. There we go. That's It's not working in the shadows though. There it is. There it is. So you want it dark. Black point. And then you want that all the way down to saturate. It helps, but it don't do much. Skin tone, yeah. Blue tone. The rest of it. Pretty much. So now you see. See this? See this little fella here? Eye, eye, mouth. Don't let anybody ever tell you you're crazy when you think you're seeing. Don't don't ever believe somebody when they say, you got pareidolia. No. Pareidolia is a euphemism to label something that's spiritual as something as a defect or you know mal malfunction you're not malfunctioning give a fuck what anyone says pardon my french my english my how can you deny that look at that that is just i mean tongue sticking out big upper lip nose I, I, bigger ear there, big ear there. Gremlin, tell me it ain't. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. God bless all y'all. Love you. Be safe.